Hey, what's up guys? Jacob Sykes here from Kansas City, Missouri, number 99 defensive tackle. I'm studying applied math and computer science, and I'll be hosting your episode nine of Harvard Football. In this episode, we're gonna have uh, Coach Frazier talk and have Coach Fine mic'd up, and uh, just leading into pin week for our seniors. It's senior day, so everybody come out and support and send them off the right way. Enjoy episode nine of Inside Harvard Football. First thing that we use to create our football program is kind of our overarching philosophy, right? So we want to make sure that everything that we're using is ground-based, three-dimensional, and multi-joint. And then within that, we want to kind of take an evaluation of each of our student athletes that are in our program and kind of put them into one category or another, right? So we'll have a developmental program, a transitional program, a team program, and an advanced program. So we're going to categorize all of our individual student athletes into one of those programs. Then within the structure of that program, we know that every kid's a little bit different, so they have some different needs. So some of our guys um, have hip impingement problems, so they're going to be in a program that's going to be specified for that. Some of our student athletes might have um, low, previous lower back injuries or previous um, knee injuries or whatever it may be. So we take within the structure of our program for each of our guys, and then we kind of tweak it and change it to fit the individual needs that they might have for the program. So one of the first things we do with our incoming freshmen is that we um, put them through a big kind of functional evaluation. Right, so they'll come in, we'll kind of get a gauge for how they run, how they move, how they change directions, how strong they are, what they look like lifting, kind of their overall readiness for college weightlifting, basically, by college training and conditioning. Um, their freshman year, almost the first semester freshman year, they're almost all gonna be on the developmental program, and then that'll give us a good three months to determine kind of where they fit in the grand scheme of things as we move into our off-season program. Our goal is to give them more tools for their toolbox so when they go play their sport, they have more capability to, to do the things that coaches are asking them to do while being as relatively resistant to injuries as possible within their sport. Anybody who may have an opportunity to um, participate at the next level, we put together a program specifically for them. So um, every year we'll typically have anywhere from two to um, eight student athletes participating in our pro day, where we're, our um, weight training program during that time of year is trying to get them faster, get them a little bit stronger, obviously increase their muscular endurance or the 225 bench test, and try to get them uh, to set a personal best during their overall pro day. Uh, the favorite part of my job are kind of the, the diverse group of student athletes that we get to work with, right? So we're getting student athletes from uh, all over the country, international, national, um, you're getting student athletes from different social economic backgrounds, um, different student athletes who have participated in strength and conditioning, some who have never participated in strength and conditioning, some who love being in here, some who hate being in here. So you know, we get to basically um, stretch ourselves uh, in a number of different ways to try to touch on you know, the lives of these student athletes as they come through our program. Hey, the swag police are out right now, and that's, that's a bad... <laughs> normal, normal crazy, all right? Yeah, not not wide receiver crazy. Not wide out, not, not, not wide out crazy. Go, ahead, go, go. That's it, that's it, that's it. If he's tighter, you can't go, but if you can, vice it, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Grab the laces and rip. Grab the laces and rip. Let's go, let's go. In steps, in steps now. Shark, be violent with the second one. You know, you just went one, two, and then the third one you're coming in, right? Two, three, you gotta sell like you're going out and come back. Here we go, short, short, short. Okay. Thank you. Home. Well, coming out of the Columbia game, the good news is that our kids continue to play really hard and they never give up. Uh, honestly, we're playing really strong defense, but we've got to score more points. This senior class is a very typical Harvard football class in the very best context. And what I mean by that is a bunch of tough, high character kids who are going to go out in the world and accomplish some really great things. Mike's up, so we can talk about your mustache. Oh, great. What do you think? Yeah. All right. Like the first two days, you like, okay, this is like not good weather, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've been spoiled, man. We've been spoiled. Yeah. We earned it in the spring, though. Yeah. There it is. Left middle, left middle. 